Good evening, everyone, and welcome back for the uh, fourth watch along here on my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful month, day, <laughs> a wonderful Monday evening. Uh, I've kind of realized something that I was, uh, as always. I mean, you know my channel at this point. I'm terribly prepared. I forgot to plug in my headphones. Um, so, and I know that the audio is going to mess with me while I try to fix it, so just bear with me a few, uh, a few, a few seconds here while I'm trying to fix all of this stuff, um, because obviously, uh, I really hope that I don't have to restart the stream, <laughs> that would be just the worst, but I kind of, I'm a bit worried that I might have to, because, uh, I don't think the... The streaming software will notice that there's a new audio output. Um, so that could actually be the case that I have to try and do that. But we're gonna try um, to basically just try if it works so far. So what I want you to let me know is that if you get the audio when I do this. Wait, wait. Let me know as soon as possible, because now it's playing in my headphones here, and if it sounds... Like, if you can hear it the way you usually hear it on the stream, you'll let me know. And if you don't, then we gotta change stuff. I'm gonna pause it there, um, <coughs> and I'm just waiting for everyone to fill me in on the blanks. We can't hear it. Wonderful. Let me see. Um... No, no one can hear it. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, let's see how we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this somehow. Wait, am I? Oh my god, I'm I'm an absolute idiot. I had it on mute. Terribly sorry. Let's try this. Let me know now. <laughs> Jeez, uh, I'm an idiot. Alright, let me know how that sounded. I'll, I'll actually try and double check as well because I want to know what it sounds like for you. Okay, now I hear myself. <laughs> Is that good audio? Is it good audio quality though? Like is that how it usually sounds or does it usually sound better? I hope it usually sounds like that. Like spot on like that. I hope so. Uh, yeah, I realized that too. Uh, WLGT TV Channel 10 New York. <laughs> it's, it's been every second day now. Uh, <laughs> taking mute off tends to help. Yeah, a little cheeky comment. Uh, Astron, kind of loud. Okay, we're gonna gonna lower it a little bit, just a slight, slight little bit like that. And uh, yeah, will we watch the whole contest on mute? Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Okay, all right. Everyone's uh, everyone's satisfied, kind of with with how it sounds now. So um. We're gonna start um, soon. Let's just. Uh, this is always the same issue, you know, with the lighting in here. Uh, I'm just feeling like if I do that. Oh no, that that that's not good. That's not good. We have to have it on somehow. But it's like I always look like I'm sitting in the. Uh, um, all right, it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm used to uh, being completely lit up entirely. Um, I've missed the last few ones because they were too late, <laughs> so I'm super excited to be here at an early stream. Is this one early? Like, um, this one is the same time as the one we did on both Thursday and Tuesday, I think. I'm actually gonna look at the schedule here. So, last Tuesday, this one was at 7pm, and last Thursday, it was at 7pm. Like, it's... No, wait, no. Sorry. So, wait. 6... okay, wait. <laughs> 6.30, both of the previous times, and now it's 7. Um, oh, streaming tip. If you put a tissue over the lamp, 
It will diffuse the light on your face. Are you just messing with me now? Because now I'm going to try this. I'm going to test this out. It's it's a testing period. Wait, does it have to be a tissue? Or is it just good with paper? I'm going to get a napkin or something. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Let's see. How how do I even attach this onto the lamp? Can I do? Uh, great. This works great. This is so so working wonders right here. There we go. Is that better? Is it? I don't know about that. Whoops. <laughs> uh. All right, if that's better, then it's better. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see what else we missed here. We will vote based on our rankings of their interpretive... De what? Okay. Oh, wait, this was the year with the host who talked way too much. Well, lovely. In German as well, I guess. Um, let's rank Marlene Cheryl's flower arrangements. I think I've... <laughs> I think I've missed a bunch of stuff. Um... Oh, better please make sure it doesn't start burning at some point. Okay, yeah, is the napkin gonna start burning? Then it's uh, then we're on, we're on for an issue here. Um, let's see. Uh, all right, you look sultry now. I I don't know what that's supposed to if that's a good thing or not, but uh, whatever. Okay. Um, <clears throat> All right, we're gonna watch 1983, as you can probably tell by the title of the stream. Um, it is better. Now I understand why people have tissues by their computer. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, um, we're gonna watch Eurovision 1983 today. Um, if you expected something else to happen today, <clears throat> then you can't read. But um, we have... Wait, let's see. How many songs do we have in this here? There are... <coughs> I still have an issue with my coughing, you know. Uh, 20, 20 songs. So this is the highest amount uh, tied with... I think it was 1980 had 20 songs. If I, if I No, it didn't. I think this is the highest we've had, actually. I don't know. Okay. Uh, all right. So, we got 20 songs. I'm gonna... Um, well, basically, we should we should just. Oh, I didn't even realize that you could see the screen. Okay, I'm I'm showing things that it wasn't intended, but okay, this is fine. Um, I'm gonna make it so like this. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We can put it up there. Okay, so I've uh, added basically all of the songs in here. I have the uh, the video here. Uh, 78 and 81 had 20 songs. Yeah, but we haven't seen 78, but okay, 81, so tied, done. All right. Um, <coughs> ah. Oops, I thought we were watching 1389 ESC with lutes and lures. Yeah, well, you're in for a positive or negative surprise, depending on what you, what you feel like, but uh, yeah. I don't think we need to cover much more. Obviously, maybe we should just mention, wait. Let's actually um, give me a few, few seconds here. <clears throat> In case you're interested, I've been working a little bit on this. <laughs> Just a little bit. But on this uh, page, we can have... Uh, wait, let's see. Let's do it like this. I've added all of the songs that we've voted for so far. And I've kind of ordered them in like the, the years. I thought maybe this could be a bit fun for you all to check out before we get the voting today. Uh, you can sort these by uh, the amount, like the percentage of points that every song has received in our votings. And you can see basically that, um, yeah, which songs have been, have gone for the biggest landslides, I guess uh, you'd say, in our voting sessions. And uh, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting. Obviously, we've had three winners so far in our... Uh, in our watch-alongs, we had What's Another Year, we had Johnny Blue and Ein bisschen Frieden. And as you can see here, Ein bisschen Frieden is currently our most, like, scored song. And uh, Hora, which obviously finished second last time out, 
actually scored a, a higher amount of percentage of points than our two previous winners. So uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff to check out here if, you, if you're interested in that. Obviously, like the fourth and fifth place of 1982 apparently scored more than our second and third in 1980. So a bit of fun stuff here, I think. Um, Luxembourg didn't do too well last time. And yeah, if you're interested in looking at that, then I've started updating more and more of here. So, uh, okay, that's that. Short little uh, disclaimer. We're gonna check 1983. I'm gonna put on full screen. We're gonna watch the year. I'm gonna, I guess, wait, this is three hours long. Three hours. Holy hell. Okay, obviously we're not gonna check the voting, but I hope that uh, if the audio is too loud, please let me know, because then we will change it. But yeah, we're, uh, we're starting this. Messing up my own headphones here. We've heard this intro five million times, so I don't need to listen to it too carefully. <laughs> there we go. Obviously, this is in München or Munich. I'm actually gonna lower the volume a little bit. Oh, wait, I can do it. Like that. Um. So yeah, three hours thanks to a tedious voting sequence. Okay, that's that's it then. The audio is a bit too loud. I'm gonna change that. I got you. Let's do like that. It's a bit too loud. All right, we're we're altering this. Tell me whenever it's you know just right. Is it well commentary? Yes, it is. So you're gonna get my commentary for this. Um, enjoy that. Um, basically, we're looking at stuff uh, that I, I, I have not read in read up on uh, Munich. Uh, no Terry Wogan? Well, no, because you got me instead. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm thinking this is Germany. I think. <laughs> uh, it looks... Um, it honestly, like, looks a bit... I usually think all the time that Germany looks exactly like Sweden, but in this case it doesn't. I guess it's because it's like southern Germany, and it's not very reminiscent of, uh, of what it looks like up here. Regardless, uh, if there are any Bavaria experts in the chat, you can let me know what all of these buildings and ferries and stuff are. <laughs> um, but yeah. I've actually not been to Munich uh, Oh wow, I actually... <laughs> Styro, you asked me that right as I said, have you been to Munich? Uh, no, I haven't. Um, maybe I should go someday though, but like, I've been to Germany a million times, but never like that um, south, I guess? It's definitely not Harrogate, yeah, can... that's right. <laughs> it's like night and day to compare our previous host city, of course, with this one. It's Munich in Bavaria, yeah, well, I, I know Lucas. <laughs> Oh, it's footage from all parts of Germany. Oh, really? Oh, wait, is this the... Um... There's like a thing in Lübeck, which is like two big towers kind of thing, like a gate or something. I don't know, I'm just speaking rubbish right now. Uh, to be honest, what is shown on screen looks like Sweden to me. Well, then you don't know what Sweden looks like, because Sweden is smaller scale. <laughs> Definitely smaller scale. We don't have anything like that. No, no, no. no nothing like that. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, the voting seek was always long and tedious. Great for brushing up on your French. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't feel like I need to practice my French. I'll, I'll manage without knowing it. Um, I feel like I should have visited the country at some point as I studied the language and my basketball coach comes from Stuttgart. Oh, you've never been to Germany? At all? Like, I've been to Germany, but I've, I've never been th that far south, I think. Um... Been to Frankfurt and Berlin and uh, Bremen, Hamburg, mm, a few a few cities here and there. Been to Munich twice. Lovely place with good beer. Yeah, I can imagine the beer is pretty good. I mean, that's what they're famous for, isn't it? The Oktoberfest. 
of course, Munich is so nice that they have to show us um, basically everything there five million times. Let's see how long this intro actually is. Okay. We're gonna be here for a while, folks. Oh my god! Okay, the first song will appear at ten minutes. If you want to go do something else for ten minutes, you won't miss anything. You, you won't miss any songs, at least. So yeah, now you know that. <laughs> Um, Andy, you're bringing out a lot of stats here. I can't confirm nor deny that statement. Seems they wanted to show every German city in the credits. Yeah, I guess so, because Germany... This Surely this was the first time they won, right? They hadn't won before this. And of course it took until 2010 for them to win again. Um... Gotta say though, I mean, when we're watching this, massive shoutouts to Svensk TV, the YouTube channel again, because the visual quality of this is just insane. Like, I don't know. You can't find content recorded in 1982 that looks like this. It's just massive. I have no idea how they do it. No idea how they do it. Um. Alright, I guess we're finally at the arena. Yeah. Oh, how how effect <laughs> The arena turned into a tom. Wow. Yeah, but they hosted 1957 contest. I did not know that. But in 57, Eurovision was barely a thing, you know. Um, is it really an 80s Eurovision without the 10 minute tourism montage? I guess you're right. I guess you're right. <laughs> It's a fair, it's a fair Welcome, point. <coughs> oh, someone's in a rush here. <laughs> what? Are people... Oh no, don't tell me they're gonna do like a parade of every participant. We can't even see the singer. The singer wasn't even shown on him when they walked in. He was like the fifth guy in the... <laughs> That's awful. Oh god, UK just being the UK as every year. I already know what that's gonna be like. I don't remember the song, but I know what that's gonna be like. It's just a UK in the 80s, really. Italian? Italy! Italy? Well, there's people who dressed up for the occasion, that's for sure. Mmm. We're in for a treat on that one. <laughs> you're, you're gonna remember it, that's for sure. I recognize... Oh... Like... 1982 is not a year that I'm... Or 1983, sorry. 1983 is not a year that I'm super familiar with. Uh, so I won't remember most of the songs, but uh, some of the people, like, you recognize them when they go on screen. Or on, on stage. I just realized I have watched this Eurovision, I remember the stage. Yeah, the stage is something you remember with all these lights in the background. Did they really change the instrumentation for Greece to sound more Greek? Do they adapt the instrumentation depending on the... I swear they do! That's actually a cool detail. They change the instruments depending on what country is walking onto the onto the stage. Of course, you got the oompa doompa here. This is so cool, and I actually love that. Okay, what's special about Danish music? Absolutely nothing. They didn't change anything there. <laughs> and now it's very obvious. It I actually love this idea, though. That's so cool. Nicely, go nicely done, you, Germany. You can bring out the big horns. What are these? Like, some of the clothes that we see here. Okay, whose idea was this? Uh, 
And I think that's everyone, right? I think that's everyone. It's kind of cool how everyone's on the, sc on the stage at the same time here. And they like allowed everyone who's gonna be on stage to be on with them as well. It's not just the main singer, it's, it's everyone. I think that's pretty cool. I also like how they place the orchestra here, like how there's a massive gap in front of the stage. I think that's really nice. I like the layout of this. Good morning, my dear and town. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mesdames et messieurs, bonsoir. Herzlich willkommen zum 28. Oh, Eurovision Song Contest in der Rudi Sedelmeier Halle hier in München. Ah, vielen Dank. Die Autoren, Komponisten, Interpreten, Dirigenten aus 20 Ländern werden Ihnen heute Abend ihre Lieder vorstellen. Und eines davon wird den begehrten Grand Prix de la Chanson 1983 gewinnen. Vor uns liegt also ein spannender Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Und ich freue mich ganz besonders, dass ich diesen Abend, meine Damen und Herren, mit Ihnen verbringen darf. Mm. Right. I feel like this is a good addition for me to, like a, like a good Eurovision year for me to watch because I can polish up my German here a little bit. Um, Welcome yeah. to the 28th Eurovision Song Contest coming Thank you very to much. you from the Rudi Sedelmeier Hall here in Munich. Tonight, authors, composers, performers, conductors from 20 countries will be presenting their songs to you, and one of the songs will be the winner. So we will have a very exciting evening to look forward to, and it will be my pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to lead you through the program. Still got a few minutes Bienvenue. left before we're going... Okay, yeah, we're here. we'll go with the French as well. <laughs> uh, how many times has she said the title of the arena and I still can't say it? It's like Ride Sinisimale or something with Ride. <laughs> she finally done. <clears throat> Millionen Fernsehzuschauer werden unsere Eurovision heute Abend miterleben, die weltweit über die angeschlossenen Stationen der Europäischen Rundfunkunion, der EBU und über die außereuropäischen Organisationen per Satellit übertragen wird. It's amazing but true about 500 million viewers. Is she really going to say everything in all three languages? Because it's been we don't need that. By the member organization what did French ever do to you, group? There are too many complicated song titles and it's ruined my sporkle runs. I've had so many missed answers on sporkle due to French titles. Nous sommes relayés par l'Union européenne des radios diffusion par diffusion et satellite diffusion du monde. <laughs> Im Mittelpunkt des heutigen Abends Rudy Sedi Sedelmeier Halle AS in den musikalischen Leiter des Song Contest vorzustellen. Tonight of course the name of the game is music and therefore I would like to introduce to you the music director of the song contest. Thank you. Finally. Ah, come on. Come on. The director musical du concours Eurovision de la chanson. Mesdames et messieurs, Dieter Reit. Welcome Dieter. Nice to see you. Come on, let's go. No, okay. Dirigenten aus den beteiligten Ländern werden heute Abend unsere Interpreten begleiten. His orchestra and the guest conductors from the participating countries will be accompanying the performance. I mean, every year that we've watched so far, they're pretty quick in getting into the songs, but this, this, this time. Oh. Come on. Der einzelnen Länder wurde Come on. Ausgelost. The running order in which the countries will be appearing are random, been yes, by, by lot. lot, yes, yes, we know, we know. Oh, God, this is torture. Okay. Und den Song Contest 1903 I need to settle down. No wonder it's a three hour long Frankreich. show. What's going on? Okay, Frankreich, here we go. France. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
I'm excited. Mesdames et messieurs, c'est la France qui ouvre le concours Eurovision de la chanson 1983. Finally getting going. Okay, so France, this is uh, basically the first song. I'm not sure what this kind of intro is. Uh, all right, this is not the song for anyone wondering. The song is a slight amount better <laughs> than what what you're hearing now. I don't know what we're supposed to watch. Here we go. Okay. What was that? Entry, la contribution française vivre. The author, the author, Ah. All right. Time to enjoy. I'm gonna bump up the volume just a little bit. France, first up. Okay. I thought we were. <laughs> All right. Chef d'orchestre François Robert. François Robert, welcome. Enjoy, enjoy. <coughs> and the composer and interpreter, the composer and performer, the compositeur and interpreter, mesdames et messieurs, Guy Bonnet. All right. I'm bumping up the volume. Vivre, vivre encore un jour, vivre encore un amour, vivre encore un réveil, vivre gorgé de soleil. S'il faut partir, ils se sont dit adieu, peut-être à jamais. Mais au fond de leurs yeux, oh, comme ils s'aimaient, et la ronde des jours va les emporter vers un autre, toujours vers l'éternité. Loin, loin, si loin, comme une étoile, un point. Vivre, vivre encore un jour, vivre. Encore un amour vivre, encore un réveil ivre, gorgé de soleil. Aime, aime comme un fou, aime, aime à genoux, il m'aime. Si tu dois souffrir, aime, même s'il faut partir, qu'importe les saisons, qu'importe le temps, par de la Rien n'est important Les traverse la nuit au fond de leurs yeux Une flamme qui lui l'amour en adieu Loin, loin, si loin Comme une étoile, un point Ooh, great start. We're off to a great start. I'm very fond of this one. It's it's such a weird song to like open the show with, but I mean obviously since they since it was random back then, um yeah, very unlucky to be drawn first with a song like that. But um off to a great start. Really like that one. Norway's up next, and obviously we're gonna have like well, a lifetime before we're actually gonna be able to hear it. Um so yeah. 
Norway, if I'm not entirely mistaken, I think it's Jan Teigen again, who uh, of course was the same singer as in 82, right? Uh, two days ago when we watched 82, I think it was him back then again as well. Uh, so I think it's the same guy with a completely different type of song. Nächste Beitrag. Yeah, I got that the first time. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we definitely need to hear everything she says three times. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. There's not as many uh, suits in the audience this time, isn't it? Yeah, Jan Tegen. Yeah, alright. So it's him again. Oh, there are a few suits. Oh, whoopsie. Whoopsie! <laughs> Alright, are we done? Well, this is terrible. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he thinks it's funny. That's that's good, I guess. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, my God. Yes. Welcome, Jan. Oh, he brought his guitar with... Oh, that's a shape on a guitar as well. Enjoy. Norway. Yes. Skala med en sand Alene så enkel og så fin Alene gitaren fyller frem En liten sand Piano og gitar Well, <clears throat> that was a song, all right. Um, <coughs> I wonder what it was called. They didn't really sing it enough times for me to really imprint what it was about. Um, 
Well, it's cute, I guess. Awful part there in the middle where they actually... Oh, uh, the backing singer just came in from nowhere and then they kissed and... Oh, God, no. Uh, I felt I felt sick in my stomach. Like, whose idea was that? No. We're, we're not we're not a part of, of what's going on there. No. Uh, <coughs> God. My throat. Uh, oh, look at this. We got the, the UK... Oh, yeah, I remember the clothes. I, I don't really remember what this song was, but you could just see them when they ran onto the stage. That you know that it's going to be something British again. I'm never giving up. All right. I kind of feel like I don't need to, like we don't need to listen to her talk so much. I mean, it's it's way too much. Um, people are claiming that this is gonna be an '80s banger. Well, I'm not so sure on that one. So we'll. <coughs> John Coolman. Is that really his name, or is it actually Coleman and she can't pronounce it? All right. Well, we'll see. Let's listen. UK. Sweet dreams. Oh god, who names themselves that? Come on. Oh no, I remember this. Oh no. When are the UK going to stop being so British? Jeez. This is... This is like... If you... If you, <laughs> if I think about just the 80s as a decade, unfortunately, this is what I see. Um, I mean, it's fun. Uh, I, I gotta say, like, it's it's not my thing, obviously, but it, it's it's fun. It's, it's ambitious and it's actually kind of um, well thought out in a way. 
like there's some there's an approach here that there's actually been they've planned this out and they've executed it and you can tell that it's well rehearsed it's well executed it's just that the whole concept of it is not really something you know that i particularly click with but um yeah i don't know it's um it is what it is it's the uk in the 80s catchy upbeat um fun if you're into it awful if you're not into it so uh, yeah uh <clears throat> whatever is up next here well it's it's sweden and i don't mean okay no it's coca-cola zero sugar apparently all right well <laughs> and then it's norrlands lifts alcohol free um sorry about this intermission <laughs> All right, wonderful, thank you. It's basically a beer commercial and you have to put the commercial for the non-alcoholic beer. Um, all right, it's Sweden and I don't mean to sound big header or very, uh, what's it called, like full of myself or my country here, but uh, it's, it's, you're probably gonna like it more than what, than what you just heard from the UK. And if you don't, well, well, I mean, then I guess you like UK. All right, Sweden, let's go. Uh, for some reason, it's not Anders Bailund. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. Sweden, enjoy. The singer, the performing artist, interpret Carola Heckvist. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's um, if I if I'm completely honest, I don't know how it's like regarded among like international people, but obviously in Sweden, this is like the biggest thing that exists. Everyone in Sweden 
knows this song and have heard it one million times. And you know, it's like the vocal performance of this is just out of this world. The just stage presence and everything. The fact that she burst on when like 16 years of age. And you have that. It, it's just mind-blowing, really. Um, wonderful. Um, absolutely wonderful. Lovely chorus. Great little guitar riffs there in the opening. Obviously, we had a very iconic moment when her mic wasn't switched off in the beginning. Interesting. But, I mean... <sighs> She's just a legend. Uh, I really, I'm really quite intrigued to know how how well known and like how well how big this is outside of Sweden because obviously in Sweden it's it's the biggest thing that exists pretty much. So uh, so yeah, we got Italy next. Um, gotta kind of admire all the craftsmanship on the uh, on the flowers <laughs> and everything uh, or flower beds, I guess you call them. Um, <coughs> So yeah, Italy. Obviously, Italy didn't participate in '82. I completely forgot that when we watched. But I was like, "Where was Italy?" Uh, so if anyone knows why they didn't participate, please let me know. But um, yeah, they're back here, '83. I can't really claim that I remember what they sent, but maybe it's a good one. We'll see. Uh, maybe she's done talking. She's gonna introduce the artist as well, of course. But uh, other than that, I think she's done. So yeah, enjoy Italy. A sing. The performing <coughs> artist, interpreté par Ricardo Fogli. Buonasera, quando arriverai, ti toglierai l'inverno. Penderai. Avrai due braccia grandi come una foresta E la pietra dopo la tempesta Per luci ritrovare il foglio più bianco E poi cominciare Io vorrei per esempio legarle i capelli con un filo di vento per Lucia ci sarà la luna più piena ma non basterà io vorrei continuando un mare di grano per cullarla ogni tanto spegnerai indosserai le stelle e sognerai avrai un mare calmo dove navigare e un silenzio quando vuoi parlare per Lucia delicata sarò la sua ombra disegnata per strada io vorrei per esempio aprirle le porte che chiudono il mondo con Lucia basta poco ti riempie da sola il giorno più vuoto io vorrei così tanto ridarle il sorriso sul viso un po' stanco oltre il muro che cosa c'è Trattieni il fiato e poi salta verso me I colpi di fucile sono ormai lontani Apriremo il cielo con le mani Per Lucia lunga vita e acqua di fiume Per ogni ferita io vorrei luci accese la festa più grande per tutto il paese per Lucia spaventata che questa mia penna diventi una spada con Lucia al mio fianco che la storia continui nella pagina accanto I like that. I like that. I think the verses were a bit like, 
not too remarkable. I think the verses just kind of passed me by, but the core is wonderful, like how the harmonies work there, how these like clocks work with the vocal melody. I, I really like that. Um, it's quite nice, very pleasant mood and flow to that. Uh, and also like how the B section of the chorus actually is elevated in, in the in the chord interval as well. It's quite nice. Um, sounds very Italian. A bit charming too. Uh, like it, it, it works for me. But uh, I can understand if it's, it might be considered a bit like too dragged out or, or anything like that as well. But also kind of a nice beat. There was like a nice little, what do you call it? Like a, a swing to it? I don't, I don't know. There was like this constant movement back and forth in it that I kind of liked as well. Look, <laughs> look at this bouquet, huh? They really managed to get the um, <clears throat> the crescent moon and the star in there somehow. Like, <laughs> I've actually noticed something when I'm looking at my stream. My my uh, my camera is way too big. It covers up way too much of the screen. Sorry about that. Um, there we go. Uh, well, yeah, that was uh, that was something else, wasn't it? Um, hope you enjoyed Turkey. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure what I have to say about it. It's it's intense. It's a bit chaotic. It's um, very intriguing, honestly, altogether. Um, quite a lot of fun. Quite chaotic. Quite all over the place. But um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's a lot to take in. Let's just say that much. Uh, wow! Look at these flowers. I like this. Kind of. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Spain next up. If you if you can't see that. I mean, it does also, of course, look a little bit like Finland, but uh, yeah. Spain next up. I can't really say that I remember <laughs> what Spain was. Um, but maybe... <coughs> oh, God, come on. I'll just shut up and let let uh, let you listen to all of these languages instead. José Miguel Evoras. José Miguel. José. Jose. Die Interpretin, the performer, l'interpret, Ramedios Amaya. I remember the dress. I remember the dress.
if it's your thing, if it's your thing. It's not my thing. Um, <clears throat> the instrumental of this, I can't comprehend what I heard. Uh, the instrumental sounded horrific, honestly. I, I don't know what the instrumentation was here, but it was absolutely abhorrent. Um, can't really get too much behind the vocal performance either. I, I thought it was very... Like, at some parts I felt like, oh, okay, I get what she's going for, and then at some parts I just felt like, yeah, this... It doesn't sound good to me, you know? Um, no, not my thing. Um, but it's definitely something, you know, within its own style that kind of... Um, gets it like it's a very distinguishable song of course um and i think it's very easy to kind of get dragged into the, into the rhythm of it but um no the instrumental was was really poor and i don't like the vocal performance either it's something you remember but nah nah not for me not for me that one we're, mo we're moving on to switzerland here let's see if uh, if i'll i'll be more into this one we'll see Enjoy. The dirigent, the conductor, the chef d'orchestre, Robert Weber. He singed the performing artist interpreted by Mariella Fare. She looks so satisfied after saying everything. Così non mi va, io non ci sto. Si fa per amore oppure no? Lascia segno una avventura. At this rate, I'm gonna vote for the UK, you know? Um, wow. I have no idea what they're going for here. It's very unremarkable. 
I guess it could sound pleasant if you're, if you're in the mood for it, but um, that dragged out so much. And like this moment, wait, I, I know I shouldn't ruin the show for you, but this moment when, when there was like an instrumental break, I'm actually going to go back for just this part. And the guy pretended to play the guitar there. Where was that? I really want to find this. Because his guitar can't be plugged in, you know? Was it here? Listen to this! Listen to this! Why are you pretending to play the guitar? What is this? Honestly, like... <laughs> what is this? Yeah, okay, okay. And pigs can fly if a guitar can sound like that. Holy hell, that's so confusing. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, Alright. Next up, I think it was Finland, right? Yeah, Finland. Um, I wonder, like, why, why do you need to... Like, if you're, if you're German or French and you don't know English... Do you really need your own personal translation for Finland? No. No, you don't. You don't. Uh, Alright. Well, Finland, <laughs> Finland's up next. Uh, only way is up, really, after that one, I think. <laughs> Do we really need to listen again? Sorry. Sorry. Um, we're moving on. Finland. Is this, by the way, the first time that we've actually had 100, pe 100 people during the watch-along? That's actually incredible. Uh, I don't think we've had 100 people for a watch along before, have we? It's insane, regardless. Welcome, everyone, <laughs> all 100 of you. Hope you're gonna enjoy Finland with me. I like how she's smiling every time she finishes a sentence. It's, um. It's very. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, smile. No? No smile? A little bit there, yeah. Yeah, you did well. You did well. Sorry, I feel like a bully. I should shut up. Let's listen. And the singer, the performer, interpret Ami Aspelsund.
Great. Great. I like that. I like that a lot. The chord interval, like, the, did you notice, like, the fir first verse there, just how the chords descended? Wonderful sound to that. A lot of drama in it. Very powerful little tr song there, honestly. Solid performance to it as well. I, I like that a lot. I thought it was really, really great, actually. Um, didn't really remember it, I gotta be honest. I, I, I don't really have that much of a memory of that one, but I really, really enjoyed that one. And it just got better because we've had so many songs that I haven't enjoyed now for <laughs> for a while. But uh, yeah, that was really great. That was really great. Grease is up next. Obviously, Grease um, is up there for me uh, during the older days. I mean, we've watched 80, 81, 82. They didn't participate in 82, I think. But 80 and 81, really great. Uh, 81 particularly. I don't really remember what, um, what this one is, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Mules, I remember the title, but uh, I'm not sure what song it was. I gotta be honest, like, I don't, I don't want to be pessimistic or anything, but Greece in the 80s weren't really that great. Like, they peaked early, and then a lot of the songs in the 80s for Greece weren't really that great. But maybe this is one of the good ones. We're gonna see. Plesas. Nailed it. Der dirigent, the conductor, le chef d'orchestre, mm -hmm. Mimis mm -hmm. Plessas. Mimis Plessas. Oh god. Alright. <coughs> Und die Sängerin des Liedes, the performing artist, l'interpret Christi. I don't really remember her. Well, let's see. Mules, ya thalas es que plia, ya i cardiamos an puli. Mesa, sto corfo su so peni, yo pu que am pas a coluci. Μέσα στον κόρφο σου σωπαίνει κι όπου κι αν πας ακολουθεί και για τσιγκάνους που κινούν κι εγώ τα μάτια σου διαβάζω να δω που τρέχουν που κινούν κι εγώ τα μάτια σου διαβάζω να δω που τρέχουν που κινούν θα κλείσω
That sax player can't be sleeping well that night. Oh god. Why is it always Greece as well? They're just cursed. Um, great instrumentation, apart from the sax player. <laughs> uh, well, it was basically only one part, but it was really during his solo as well. You messed... Oh god. Okay. Really interesting, interesting one. Very like laid back and very mellow, but kind of quite a beautiful sound to it. Also love like the the five four time signature that it kept throughout here. It like really gives it a nice like rhythm that constantly keeps going. There's like this always just this movement like one two three four five one two. Like it's it's very just m move movable. <laughs> it's very moving, uh, quite lively. I like that. And then how the rhythm really picked up there at the end as well. Quite nice. Nice little vocal performance, um, but I don't really think that it's something that really like has that massive impression. Um, I guess it doesn't quite go all the way there, you know. It, I think it keeps itself way too mellow, like for maybe too long in the song. Like when it gets going, it gets going, but um, quite a tranquil listening experience, of course. But uh, I'm not sure what to make of it. I really enjoyed it, but I think it could have definitely been like top tier. Uh, stuff for me, but it didn't quite hold up all the way there for me personally, but I, I, I enjoyed it nice instrumentation and everything as well and love the love the rhythm of it uh, <clears throat> Netherlands up next Netherlands up next and uh, Bernadette, all right, let's see. Oh, well, that's a color Nice panning. The audience seemed to like that one. I like the ending, like the these small, like little fading out part of there at the end. But the rest of it, oof, uh, I kind of miss. Yay, uh, any. 
I don't know. Oh, God. It was so repetitive, though. Like, it was so repetitive. Oh, my. Like, I thought the opening was quite nice. Like, it was really pleasant and kind of like this kind of angelic sound to it. But the um, the chorus. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, yikes. No. No, not for me. If I'm, if I'm going to be completely honest, I kind of hated it. But, um, yeah, that, that's just me. We're going to move on to Yugoslavia. Finally. Um, time to... This one you'll remember. Oh, well, cheeky little flag going on here. <coughs> the flags are very hit and miss, we gotta be safe. But this one is, I mean, there's an attempt here. Um, Julie is the next song. I quite like this one. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just, uh, just have fun is what I, uh, is what I encourage everyone to. <laughs> so yeah, let's, let's get into it. <coughs> Der Dirigent, der Conductor, der Chef d'Orchestre, Rodovan Popovic. Der Interpret schrieb auch die Musik. The performer wrote also the music. L'Interpret a également écrit la musique. Daniel. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. When you look at him, you're not going to expect what you're going to hear. No! Another ad! Oh, shut up, HSB. I don't want a new apartment. Oh, no Beckers, I don't need to repaint my part. Oh, God. Oh, great timing. Jeez. Like, when you when you see him, though, the Julie guy here, you, you can't imagine what you're going to hear. Let's go. Oh, that's just tons of fun. I love that. <coughs> oh, I love that. <coughs> Ooh. 
great little instrumentation on it, I think, mainly. Like, the orchestra here is really, like, kicking it, killing it, and then the vocals are great. And just a lot of charm. It's very, like, over-the-top happy, but I, I, I enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm vibing with that, yeah. Uh, Cyprus, next up. Or maybe you'd like to say Chypre or Zypern. No, how do you speak German? I don't know. Zypern. <laughs> ah, Zypern. Chypre. Chypre. Or something like that. Oh, I love the pauses. What is this? <laughs> wow, this flower. Or bouquet, or whatever you call it. It's not orange, though, as it should be. Or is it supposed to be the leaves? Uh, or what do you call them? They're not called leaves. What are they called? La laurels? Is it called that? Oh, it's even is actually spelt with a Z. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what we got here. I don't really remember this one. I see a guitar on stage, though. Let's hope that it actually sounds like a guitar this time, unlike Switzerland did. Stavros and Constantina. Stavros and Constantina. Oh, both of them have guitars. Wonderful. Let's go. Come on. I gotta be honest with you, I don't think we have had that many like standout songs in this year compared to the other years. Um, a lot of them just kind of in the middle for me personally. I, I, I quite enjoyed it at times, but then it's an overall package. It's not really something that's going to stick with me. Um, some nice rhythmic hits there, here and there. Some cute instrumentation here and there as well. Um, 
kind of liked them as well. I think they, they kind of had this charm about them. Not so sure on the backing singers how they were like in each other's face, like basically here. <laughs> uh, kind of off-putting in my opinion. Um, but um, yeah, it, it, it was all right. It was all right. Um, we'll see if I end up voting for that. There, there hasn't been too many songs that I kind of liked, so we'll see. Interesting as well how they like figured out like one and a half minute into the song that, oh, they're playing guitars, we should probably bump up the volume of them. And then they realized, hey, are we, were we supposed to have the, the guitars audible in this one? And then they just lower the volume on it as well. There was like one part in the song where you could hear the guitars. And other than that, they were like, put a filter on minus 40 decibels or something. Uh, <coughs> Germany up next, they're obviously going to get a big applause, I guess. Except from this guy down here, he's not very bothered about that. Not him either, he looked very pissed. Um, Alright, so Germany up next. Not sure what the flags... Like, you'd think that for Germany, for their own country, they would put some effort in for the flags, but nope. Nope, nope. Uh, so yeah, next one up. I guess enjoy. Welcome back, Dieter. Nice to see you. And the interpreters, the performers, the interpreters, Hoffmann and Hoffmann. Hoffmann und Hoffmann? Hm. Oh my god, come on! Vapor Pogen? Oh, skip. Here we go. Thank you. Ich kann nicht alleine sein Mit all den ungeklärten Fragen, was haben wir denn beide falsch gemacht? Und dennoch mag ich keine Menschen sehen, das Glück von anderen tut mir noch weh. Warum sind wir nicht früher aufgewacht? Wir waren wie verwöhnte Kinder. Jeder dachte immer nur an sich. Rücksicht. Keiner hat das Wort gekannt und Nachsicht. Die keiner bei dem anderen fand und Vorsicht. Das nie zerbricht, was uns verband. Dass jeder seine Fehler hat und Weitsicht. Das Leben findet nicht nur heute statt und Vorsicht. Dass man den anderen nicht zerbricht. Waren wir wirklich nur vor Liebe blind? Oder einfach zu bequem, haben wir denn nicht gemerkt, was uns noch fehlt? Vielleicht ging alles für uns viel zu schnell, verband uns wirklich nur die Nacht. Wussten wir nicht, dass der Tag genauso zählt? Fehlte uns die Kraft, uns zu vertrauen? War es Angst vor ehrlichem Gefühl? Rücksicht Keiner hat das Wort gekannt und Nachsicht Wie keiner bei den anderen fand und Vorsicht Das nie zerbricht, was uns verband Seine Fehler hat uns Weitsicht. Das Leben findet nicht nur heute statt und Vorsicht, dass man den anderen nicht zerbricht. That was beautiful. I love that. 
I really, really love that. I like that like combination as well with all of these like um, what do you call it like analog instruments, and then you have this digital synth in the middle. Just adds a layer to something, kind of a little unexpected in there, but something that just works so well in the soundstage. I gotta say, I, I really enjoyed it. Beautiful. Love the way that they were singing together as well. I think they had a wonderful dynamic between them. Um, mainly like the two the two main guys. But then when everyone kind of joined in as well, it's a very wonderful sound. Um, I thought it was beautiful. I'm very fond of that one, really. A nice flow to it as well. You know, Germany, early 80s is just crazy, crazy good. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Denmark is up next. We got a bunch of red and what are those even flowers? They kind of look like tomatoes or something. But okay, uh, Denmark. Obviously, Denmark in the '80s is something to look out for. But I don't really remember like what years they were on their best, uh, except for '89, of course. But uh, yeah, we'll see if this one's up there. Christian Jakobsen. All right. The composers, the composers, the compositeurs. Lash Christensen, Fleming Gernix, and Christian Jakobsen. Uh, Christian Jakobsen, again. Alright, let's listen to Denmark. I'm gonna stop mocking her. Der Dirigent, the conductor, the chef d'orchestre, Alan Boczynski. Oh, we know him for every other year that he's been in, Alan Boczynski. And er sing. The performing artist interpreted by Gru Johansen. What is this? <laughs> oh god oh oof. like did you hear did you hear that kick drum and the bass and like everything oh hoo -hoo. <laughs> it sounded oh it sounded so awful like the with the orchestra it sounded like you don't do that 
You don't you don't do that. Moving on. <laughs> oh god. I never want to see or hear that again in <laughs> during the rest of my life. I have no idea what I just saw or heard. Imagine, like, it's it's a good thing we don't have to rank, like, all of the songs. Like, I just need to pick ten that I like, because I, I don't know what I've disliked the most today. There's been so much... So much to just put that, the, like, that I just want to forget. Um, <coughs> obviously, don't want to forget the next song. Uh, oh my god, thank you so much, Katrina. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, my pleasure to bring you the show. Oh, there, there's the sound. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Uh, good timing as well because we're going to a highlight now. We no one wants to forget this one. It's um, just enjoy. We're gonna listen to Chai from Israel. So yeah, enjoy. Thank you again, Katrina. Very kind of you. And the interpreter, the performing artist. Interpreté par Ofra Chasa. Chasa. Right, let's go, Israel. so good it's so 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 good what an arrangement just it's it's everywhere all at once and it's absolutely incredible how how well presented that is what a hook like the chorus to this one it just has that instant impact and you will remember it from the first time you hear it you just remember it 
it's one of these that just sticks right in here, right from, from the very first time you hear it. Wonderful presentation, vocals are out of this world, like those small lines <coughs> leading into the chorus, absolutely incredible. Love the, the charisma of the backing vocals as well, like it's just the whole, the whole package. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. And it's like, you know, Israel, the year before they sent Chora, which is like a song within the same vein as this one, really. Like, it's just, they're on such a roll here. I can't believe they sent Chora and Chai, and neither of them won, you know? It's just sad. Um, they're so brilliant, really. So brilliant. <coughs> Wonderful. Love that one to bits. Uh, Portugal is up next. Portugal, of course, who have had uh, wonderful results in our voting session so far. I'm not sure if this... Uh, not sure what song the, this one is. Mm. Yeah, I, you can tell that, Jeffrey, right? Like, uh, the fact that Chai was written by uh, the guy who sang Chora. They sound very similar, but brilliant. Okay, next up, Portugal. Enjoy. Ela diz que eu fui um caso muito sério Mas eu só sei que algo nisso é normal Havia um tempo olhar-me subir o começo Mas agora tudo perdeu seu brilho Na minha vida sou um braço como teu Um sonho livre, uma aventura sem igual Linda, linda, esta bolada que te dou Esta balada que te dou Podem até pensar que eu sou Um pouco triste Mas não há nenhum mal Mas ser assim Pois tudo fica mesmo Quando se acaba Um romance Uma paixão Ou um caminho Na minha vida sou Esta balada que te dou Linda, linda Esta balada que te dou Quis escrever a mais bela canção Que há no mundo Olhando para trás Para Ver. Foi quando ouvi uma voz cantando baixinho Esta balada que vinha de longe Na minha vida sou um abraço como o teu Um sonho livre, uma aventura sem igual Esta balada que te dou Linda, linda Esta balada que te dou Okay, so you know one thing about this one oh. um, I don't remember ever hearing this song before like, I've only watched this year once, I, I've got to be honest with you. I don't remember ever hearing this song before. But you can so clearly tell that it's written by a person who just loves music. And loves playing around with music and writing around it. The way that the chords in that song flew into each other. That was such a wonderful listening experience. Very smooth all the way throughout. It took you wherever it wanted to take you. And everything felt very natural. Uh, <laughs> irregardless of it being... A very like 
it's not a simple arrangement, it, like songwriting wise, but it made itself sound very simple because everything flew so naturally into each other. I thought that was wonderful. Very sincere delivery on it. Beautiful song. Very beautiful song. We're on a roll now. Uh, and Austria is up next with uh, Hurricane. Um, I don't remember this one, but maybe I will later. This one, you can tell some ambition has been put into this uh, this bouquet right here. Absolutely massive. And then we had Cypress with the two, with the laurels that sounded awful. <laughs> or sounded, looked awful. Alright, let's listen to Austria. Let's see what this is on about. <coughs> the dirigent, the conductor, the chef d'orchestre, Richard Österreicher. Ah, Richard Österreicher, my hero. I just love the consistency of him. Every single year it's him. You just gotta love it. Just gotta love it. And he sings, performing, interpreted by West End. Oh god. No. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This ad came at a perfect time, we gotta say. Oh, wonderful. Kommer du ihåg utsikten? Fikat. Maten. Utflykten som blev till ett helt äventyr. Vilka minnen planerar du härnäst? Naturkompaniet. Well, you have three guesses as to what country that was. <laughs> uh, well, choreography is good, I guess. I mean, it's it's fun, it's charming, but oh, oh, it's not my thing. However, like, I was actually kind of floored. Like, early on, I'm actually going to go back. Uh, like, listen to this guy with the stash, his vocals here. I love the sound in his voice. I think that's great. Ah, whatever. Uh, overall, not really my thing, that one. Um, it's just, you know, 
It's it's the UK, but it's Austria, pretty much. It's very tacky and very cheesy and just... I mean, didn't... Uh, what's that movie called? Flashdance? That was in 1983 too, wasn't it? You can very easily tell. Uh, it's a very typical 1983 thing, I guess. Um, <clears throat> uh, Austria and Denmark really thought they did something. Denmark did do something, yeah. Denmark did do something indeed. Um, all right, Belgium's up next. There's no black with the flowers, but there's some yellow and red. Um, I mean, Belgium's a bit hit and miss, but sometimes, like, I know Belgium has a few good ones back then. Uh, I hope this is one of those. Let's uh, let's enjoy. Oh my, that's a styling. The if I've ever seen one. The performers, les interprètes, pas de deux. Pas de deux. Oh, I like how like half of the lights are, are off and half of them are on. I like that. Looks good. No. Why is it always Belgium? I mean, like I just saw them the way they walked onto the stage, and I was like, no, I gotta, I, I gotta just ignore this. But it actually, I grew quite fond of that. I, the instrumental is quite fun. Like it's a lot of fun, I think. Very playful instrumental to it. Um, nice little brass section. Nice how the um, the artists on stage as well are kind of incorporated into it. There's just a very odd vibe around everything there, but. I, it's kind of cool, but uh, very repetitive towards the end. Very lack of lacking of melody, really. And uh, it's for sure something that I will remember. But uh, I saw a comment in the chat: "This is so Belgium." And yeah, exactly. It's so Belgium. <laughs> what was the song called again? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Final song: Luxembourg. Um, I'm sure some of you uh, are familiar with this one. So yeah, enjoy. 
I kind of like it when they actually have these ribbons like with the like next to the bouquets. I kind of like that. Um, I mean, what countries like both Germany and Greece? They didn't even have flowers that symbolize the country, which is just uh, at least this one does. Quite quite pretty, isn't it? I think so. I like those flowers. But, well, they'd die in my apartment in a few days. Okay, Luxembourg, I'm gonna shut up. Let's go. Jean-Pierre <coughs> Der Dirigent, the conductor, le chef d'orchestre, Michel Bernholt. Und es singt Performing Artist, interpreté par Corinne Hermes. Hmm. It's a good one. It's a good one. Vocals really great. Um, very dramatic song as an overall package. Um, <laughs> she's still recovering. <laughs> um, no, but I, I'm quite fond of it. A uh, few nice hits that, here and there. I like how the piano joins in in the early part of the song because it's kind of an unexpected instrument with the way that the song starts. Um, it's quite nice, uh, I'd say. I like the drama of it. I think it's very impactful. Might be a bit over the top at, at times, in, in my personal opinion. Like it, it and it's also kind of um, what's it called? Like it maybe drags a little bit for me personally. Uh, I probably like it to kick up a little bit more energy there towards the end, but um, it becomes a lot of like vocal show off at the end, I think. But still, great package. Um, 
enjoyable. Uh, obviously, we have to check a recap. We're gonna have a, an interval act, and knowing what we've seen so far during this show, it's gonna be 20 minutes long. Well, it's gonna be like 11 minutes, so I hope you're ready for that. We're gonna have 11 minutes of... Okay, so we're gonna listen to German music and watch a ballet, I think. In 11 minutes, for 11 minutes, and then we're gonna check the recap, and then we're gonna open the voting. So, all right. Um, I'm gonna keep the volume like around here, maybe, and uh, I'll talk over the interval act if that's if that's uh, allowed. <laughs> um, I gotta admit, though, like thinking back of this year, it's it's my least favorite so far out of the ones we watched. Uh, I know some people like this one the most, but I, I gotta say, it didn't really click with me, this one. Um, some st some standout songs, of course, but a lot of songs that I didn't care for. This isn't my kind of interval act, I'm just saying. <coughs> well, hello there. She's been waiting for this all evening, hasn't she? Music. I wonder what Terry would say during this interval act. Do you think he'd be impressed? <laughs> say like for I mean I I like the thing that Germany have done here for their like the whole show has been pretty good uh, I like the stage I love that part at the opening when they did the well flag parade where they changed the music to represent all of the countries participating kind of I like that a lot um, <clears throat> and I think the stage is quite nice um, orchestra has been pretty good too if we exclude the sax guy for Greece but maybe he was part of the Greek uh, the Greek group. I guess he was. So he's not a German saxophone player who, who messed up. Um, overall pretty good show, but it's been way too dragged out. And this is yet another part of that. I like the dynamics in this instrumental here. I'm sorry, but this is not <laughs> my thing. There's a lot of time left. Okay. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. <laughs> I 
I mean, while we wait, anyway, while we're watching the interval act, give me some predictions. What what songs will be the top three in our voting? Give me some predictions. I'm interested to see what uh, what people think are going to be the the favorites here. I have my few. I have one suspicion of what I think will be up there, but the others I'm not so sure. So yeah, let me know. Or maybe I have two actually. We'll see. <laughs> I'd rather skip this and went to the recap of voting. No, we're not doing that because the the interval act of 1981 was so good that I promised that I we have to watch all of them in case we miss something amazing. It doesn't really seem like it this time though. People are predicting Sweden, Israel, Yugoslavia, Luxembourg, Germany, Finland up there. Yeah, Israel has been pretty much in all of the predictions, I think. Sweden in quite a lot of them as well. Then we've had a few Finlands, Yugoslavias. We've got uh, Eurovision fan Scotland says Belgium, Denmark and Turkey. <laughs> well, if you're right, then uh, I'll be... I'll be floored, but we'll see. Only have a few Luxembourgs. We'll see. Um, we'll see if that's going to be the case. What happened on this on the stream? I got a notification. Maybe a subscriber. If so, welcome to the channel. Do, 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 do. This isn't entertaining. <laughs> Not sure what you're talking about, huh? over? Nope. Oh, you can tell that it's well rehearsed at least. <laughs> She's been waiting to do that all night, you can tell. <laughs> Alright. It's done. Nice little ending pose. Yeah, you did well. But you did better when you pronounced uh, the Plessis guy from Greece. Or was it Plessis? It was something like that. I've seen her smile approximately 5 million times tonight. <laughs> ah, bitte sehr. Der große Moment ist da. Ah, wirklich? Jede Jury hat inzwischen alle Lieder bewertet. Klingt sehr gut. Wie das Lied das am besten gefallen hat, vergibt sie zwölf Punkte. Jawohl. Für das zweitbeste zehn Punkte. Zehn Punkte. Für das drittbeste acht Punkte. Acht Für den Punkte. vierten Platz sieben Punkte. Und dann geht es weiter. Sechs, fünf, vier, und drei, weiter. zwei. Und schließlich einen Punkt. Einen well, Punkt. Gentlemen, All right. We're, we're definitely... Um... We're definitely stopping here. Uh, the the voting's gonna start soon. <clears throat> so let's uh, let's move on. Recap time. I already prepared it this time, so we don't have to wait. Uh, I hope the audio is not gonna be too loud. I'm gonna have it like around here somewhere. It's eight minutes long. We're gonna listen to the recap, twenty songs, and then I'm gonna open the voting. And at ten p.m. we will watch the voting. Sounds good. It has to because that's what we're doing. So here we go. de soleil aime aime comme un fou aime aime à genoux oui même si tu dois souffrir aime même 
même s'il faut partir, ils se sont dit adieu, peut-être à jamais.
nicht nur heute Start und Vorsicht, dass man den anderen nicht zerbricht. Wir fehlen es hier vor und die Bahn. Well, sorry about that. That the it was basically just mono audio for the last three songs. That's that's awful. Uh, but still, okay. Mm, that's a literal pain for the ears. But okay. Um, <clears throat> that was the recap. We're gonna open the voting. Uh, I think I have. I didn't actually count them, but there are a lot of stuff that. Well, I'm certainly not gonna vote for. And then probably like uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's twenty one twenty four now. I know I said 10 p.m., but let's actually do 21.45. That's when we're going to do the uh, do the voting. So you have 21 minutes to get your votes in. I'm going to share the voting link now. I got it right here. Um, oh, lots of going on in the chat here. Link for voting. Sharing it now so you can get access to it and you can get your votes in. Um, I can kind of show you again how to do it. You just drag the songs you like towards the top. You write your name and you choose a country that you, you want the flag to be for. And then you click save. And then, uh, well, you're done, basically. Um, so, yeah. 21.45, that's when I will be back. And then we'll watch the uh, final. I'll announce it already on my channel. Uh, I'll, I'll put the next stream up. It's going to be a new stream. So you just click off this stream um, <laughs> and then join me for the next one. So, uh, yeah. See you uh, soon again. It's been uh, wonderful. And I will see you... Um, basically, um, yeah, very soon. Bye-bye.